So your students finished taking the ISIP. Now what? Welcome to series two of our iStation PD video series. So the great news is that now you have data. These videos are going to help you learn how to access that data and give you some tips on how you might use it. So series two contains two videos. Part A, which is this video, we're gonna look at the classroom summary report. We're also gonna take a look at how the reading level guide will help you to put your students into reading groups. Part B, will look at the priority report, the student summary handout, which is a great one for parent conferences, by the way, and the instructional tiers chart. So just a quick reminder before we get started, to log into the iStation program, you'll go to the Harupa homepage, click on resources, and then click on the iStation icon. So the classroom tab. The classroom tab really is going to be your go-to tab, although we are gonna look at a couple of different tabs in series two. So the classroom tab is gonna give you individual student information. And remember that the student names are written in that blue font. And in iStation, that means that it's a hyperlink to more information. You also can get to some of these reports right here from your classroom tab and that related reports box on the left. Something that's really important to remember when you're on the classroom tab and you're looking at data is to make sure that you have selected the correct product that you're interested in. So you can see from this example, the iStation reading is highlighted in blue. So I'm getting information on the iSIP, which is right here in this middle column, that is relating to the iStation reading program, so the iSIP and reading. Now, if you want to see both reading and math on the same page, you would just click this show multiple products box and it will give you your results for both assessments on the same page. So just a quick reminder, these reports that we're going to be looking at are available right here from the classroom tab. iStation already knows which reports are most popular with teachers, and so they've put them right here on your classroom page. You can see them in this blue box. You can see which reports are available for reading as well as for math. So we're going to take a close look at the classroom summary report. Here's why I think you might like it. This report's gonna help you to be able to get a guided reading level for your students. It'll also provide you with the Lexile level that you can share with parents to help them with selecting books for their children, or you can show students how to use that Lexile level to be able to select books to read independently. This report also gives you the information about what students are working on when they log into the iStation program each day. The other piece is if you keep drilling down by simply clicking on the student's name, you can get to that student summary report, the one I was saying that's really great for parent conferences. So just a quick reminder, you can get to the classroom summary report from your classroom tab simply by kicking, clicking on classroom summary in the related reports box on the left. So here's what this report looks like. You'll notice right away that there will be some students in your class that might be highlighted in this orange color. This is going to be important information for you because iStation has determined that these students need critical intervention. In most cases, you'll find the students who are highlighted in orange will fall into your tier three category, but not always. So students are also organized on this report by tier. So you'll see that you'll have tier three, students who are struggling, then you'll have your tier two, students who might need support with certain areas, and you'll have students who are performing in tier one, meaning that iStation has says they're working um, at grade level. So the other piece that you'll notice on this report is there'll be some headers at the top. You'll have the student's name, their overall iSIP score, the percentile rank, the Lexile level, their usage hours, and the current cycle. What you're likely going to notice is um, on the current cycle option, there is a little button here, the little drop down arrow. And if you click that, it'll actually sort the students within that tier group based on their current cycle. This is what the math looks like. So the headers are really similar. The differences are they have quantile instead of, um, in addition to, I'm sorry, to percentile. And we'll take a closer look at that. This assessment is pretty new, so we're still learning the ins and outs. And then it also has current unit instead of current cycle. Here's an example of what the units look like. We're gonna look, take a closer look at the reading today, but wanted to provide you with the information on an example of what these units look like when students are working in the iStation math program. So let's look at the headers a little more closely. 
So the percentile rank is actually related to the national norms. So what this means is that students are um, compared to other students who are at the same grade level and taking the same assessment at the same time of year. So it's national data. The usage data is simply that. How long did students take in um, when they took their most recent ICIP assessment? Now, Lexile scores. Let's talk a little bit about Lexile scores. So Lexile scores are quantitative scores, meaning that a student's, it measures a student's reading ability. Now, sometimes teachers use Lexile scores to kind of look in to see how difficult a text might be. They range from 200 to 1700. Um, and it's kind of important just to note that Lexile scores do take into consideration things such as sentence length, word frequency, but they don't take in those higher level comprehension skills such as theme and content. So that's why this measure is considered to be an objective measure. So an example is, um, we can see here on the slide that the Grapes of Wrath, for example, is studied somewhere around grades nine or 10, yet the Lexile is just 680. So sometimes it's important to just keep that in mind when discussing Lexile scores. And if you want more information, there is a link here to get additional resources regarding Lexiles. So current cycle, this will be important information because once your students finish the ISIP assessment, they'll be dropped into a cycle of instruction. So the way that you can get the information on the cycles for reading and then in math again, it's called the unit you're gonna to go to the tab that's right next to your classroom tab, which is the toolbox tab. From there, you're going to want to select cycle and unit descriptions. And it will populate this box that you see here. Now remember, anything that's listed in blue font is a hyperlink to more information. So you're going to want to click where it says iStation's user guide. And once the user guide opens, you can select the product that you want to see the cycle or unit descriptions for. So what I dropped here was just an example of the cycle descriptions for the early reading program. So you'll see there's the pre-reading cycle, cycle zero, cycle one, and cycle two. And again, if you open the iStation user's guide, you'll have access to all of the products that are available in iStation and the cycles for reading or the units for math. Something to keep in mind is that there are 15 cycles that students work through in the reading program. Once they finish um, those 15 cycles, then they're placed in the middle school track, which actually begins at grade six, and it's called Timeless Tales. There's Timeless Tales 1 and Timeless Tales 2, which includes reading and writing. So now let's look at the reading level guide. This is something that I think is a really great feature in the iStation program. So we're already in the toolbox tab, and this is where you can find this information. And this will help you to create reading groups based on the ISIP results. So from the toolbox tab, you'll want to go to reading level guide. It will pull up this document here. And you'll want to notice that if you're a dual immersion teacher, notice this is available for English and Spanish. So what's important for teachers is to make sure you're looking at the right column. So you're going to notice it says ISIP early reading and ISIP advanced reading. So teachers who are um, kinder through third grade, you'll be looking at the early reading and teachers who are fourth through eighth grade will look at the advanced reading column. Here are the iStation um, scores. This is what you're gonna be looking at on this chart. So you're gonna look at students ISIP score from the classroom summary report and then use this as a guide to determine what guided reading level are they reading at based on that ISIP score. So let's look at an example. So here is some data from the same class we were looking at earlier. And this was an upper grade class. So we're going to be using the advanced reading column on the chart here. So let's look at this first score. The student scored 1781. That is their overall ISIP score. So I'm going to head over to my chart and I'm going to find where do I find the band for 1781? And I can see it's here where it says 1663, or I'm sorry, 1663 to 1785. So I can see this student scored at the higher end of that band. 
So I would probably put them at a level O, but I might start them out at a level N just to be sure. Let's look at another example. So this student here scored 1958 on their overall reading score. So when I head over to the chart again, they're kind of in the middle range of this 1922 to 1993. So I would more than likely put them in the middle range according to the text, I'm sorry, according to the levels letter over here at a level T. So that's how you can look at the classroom summary report and also use the reading level guide to help determine what guided reading level your students are reading at. Stay tuned for part B. We'll take a look at the priority report, the student summary handout, and the instructional tiers chart. Thanks for joining.